Infantile amnesia. Why we hardly remember the first years of our lives. The baby remembers the face of the mother already in the first days of life and then easily distinguishes it from other faces, which, however, he also gradually remembers, and even greets with a smile those of them that he likes best. In other words, human memory works extremely intensively from the first days of our lives. But why then do we not remember anything from that time? Scientists call this phenomenon infantile amnesia. Read about what it is in an article by psychologist Vanessa Lobey. In a child development course at Rutgers University, Vanessa asked her students to recall their very first memories. Some of them talked about the first day in the nursery or kindergarten, others, about the time when they were offended or upset, others remember the birthday of a younger brother or sister. Despite significant differences in details, the students' memories have something in common. They are all autobiographical and represent memories of significant events in a person's life after the first two or three years of his life. This is the order of things. Most people cannot remember the events of the first years of their life, and this phenomenon is called infantile amnesia. Why don't we have childhood memories? Does memory start working only at a certain age? Here's what scientists think about children and memory. Even though people don't remember much before the age of two or three, research shows that babies can form memories, but these are not memories that can be put into words. During the first days of life, Babies can remember their mother's face and distinguish it from a stranger's face. A few months later, they remember many faces, smiling at those whom they see more often than others. In fact, there are many other types of memories besides autobiographical ones. We have semantic memories and memories of facts, such as the names of different varieties of apples. There is also a memory of how to perform certain actions, such as how to open the front door or drive a car. Research in the 1980s and 1990s by psychologist Carolyn Rovi Collier showed that infants can form memories from an early age, but cannot tell about them. The essence of the experiment was as follows The scientists placed babies between the ages of two and six months in cribs with mobile devices hanging over their heads. At first, the device worked when children accidentally kicked it with their foot. The scientists then tied a string from each child's foot to the end of the device. The babies, in turn, quickly understood what was required of them. They liked to see how the mechanism worked, and therefore they kicked it more often than before the rope was attached to their leg, demonstrating that they realized that kicking made the machine move. A study of children between the ages of 6 and 18 months was similar, but this time they sat on their parents' laps with their hands on a lever that made the train move along the tracks. At first, the lever did not work, and the experimenters measured how hard the child pressed on it. Then they turned on the lever, and each time the baby pressed it, the train would go its own way. The babies quickly got used to it again and began to press the lever much harder. What does this have to do with memory? After teaching the infants one of these exercises for several days, Rovi Collier tested to see if they remembered it. When the babies returned to the lab, the researchers would show them the kicking device or the train and see if they continued to kick and pull the lever. Rovi Collier and her colleagues found that if six month old babies were taught for one minute, they could remember their actions a day later. The older the babies were, the longer they remembered. The researcher also found that infants can remember events for a longer period of time if they are taught for longer periods of time and given reminders, for example, by showing a train that moves by itself. If babies can form memories in their first months of life, why don't adults remember this? It is still unclear whether people experience infantile amnesia due to the inability to form autobiographical memories, or whether we simply do not have the ability to recover them. No one knows exactly what the reason is, but scientists have a few guesses. First, autobiographical memories require you to have some sense of self. You must be able to think about your behavior in terms of how it relates to the actions and judgments of others. Researchers tested this ability in an experiment with Rouge. This experiment involved marking a child's nose with a patch of red lipstick or rouge. The researchers then placed the infant in front of a mirror. Babies under 18 months simply smiled at the baby in the reflection, showing no signs of recognizing themselves or the red mark on their faces. Between the ages of 18 and 24 months, the babies touched their own noses and felt embarrassed. They already associated the red dot in the mirror with their face. Another possible explanation for infantile amnesia is that infants simply cannot verbalize their early experiences because they are not yet able to speak. Finally, the area of the brain that is largely responsible for memory, 
The hippocampus is not yet fully developed during infancy. Scientists continue to investigate how these factors affect the fact that we remember almost nothing about our lives before the age of two, but so far they still cannot come up with a definite answer. Thank you for watching. Reading is boring, so we will be sharing interesting things about world and life with you. Share, like, and subscribe. You know what to do. Leave a comment what you are interested in so we can do an episode about it too.